Not long ago, Hyundai's Tucson used to be one of the small players in the compact crossover class. Certainly, times have changed, as the latest Tucson is one of the best-selling crossovers out there with its good combination of value, style, and practicality. So, let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this 2017 Hyundai Tucson Eco. Now, the Tucson is Hyundai's smallest crossover offering. However, it is rumored that Hyundai is actually going to come out with an even smaller crossover to compete in the subcompact crossover class. But the Tucson here was fully redesigned just last year. And of course, you have the fluidic sculpture design, and I really do like it. I think it's mature looking, but pretty stylish at the same time. Now also for 2017, not much has changed except for that there is the availability of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on the top trim levels for the Tucson. Now our model we have here is the Eco model and it comes with a pretty darn fuel efficient 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder. Now here goes the key fob design for the Tucson. It's a switchblade key, a smart key is available and you have your lock unlock to release your trunk and your panic button. Now this color is known as the winter white. And it comes with a full on gray cloth interior. You have your power driver's seat with power climb, power lumbar. Now stepping on inside of the Tucson here. That's an okay looking interior design. I've certainly seen better from Hyundai, but it's all right. Supposedly the interior quality has also been upgraded for 2017 over the 2016 models. And what you're hearing there is a 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder. Coming to your transmission, you have a seven speed dual clutch transmission. No six speed automatic transmission here, which is what Hyundai usually likes to go with. But you do have manual shiftability. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, you have your rear view camera with guided signs and trajectory. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights. You also do have your fogs, hazards. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. And you have 17 inch alloy wheels. Now of course the Tucson comes with a 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty just like with every other Hyundai. Coming up front you have LED accenting lights on top, halogen projector beam headlights, halogen fog lights, and then you have LEDs right here for your daytime running lights. Now powering the Tucson here is your optional powertrain. It's a 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder. Now your base powertrain for the Tucson is going to be a two liter four cylinder. But this turbo four cylinder is more fuel efficient and it's more powerful as well. Produces 175 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 195 pound-feet of torque with EPA estimates being a pretty good 26 in the city and 32 on the highway. But if you don't need this extra power, then you'll want to go with the base two liter four cylinder. Competitors of the Tucson, you have the vehicles in the compact crossover class. This includes the likes of the Toyota RAV4, Ford Escape, Nissan Rogue, Chevrolet Equinox, and the Subaru Forester. Trims for the Tucson start at the SE, which is the base. That's 22,700. The Eco, like how we have here, 24,150. The Sports model, 25,900. And the top of the line limited, 29,775.
You have roof rails on top and you can get crossbars as an option, like how it is on this Tucson right here. And coming to the rear of the vehicle, I really do love the styling with the tail lights. And then you have rear reflectors and a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster. EPA estimates, like I said, 26 city, 32 highway. Total vehicle price is 25,630. And the final assembly point is in Korea, of course, and the parts content, 94% Korean. Of course, all of your basic power necessities, power windows, door locks, power mirrors. Now, one thing I have to say about the interior of the Tucson is that at least it's not all black here. At least it has some contrast with the gray and the dark gray plastic here and at least it doesn't look really spartan inside of here now coming to the stairwell the stairwell is fairly stylish you do have your stairwell mounts audio controls bluetooth phone controls voice recognition and you have your cruise control right there down here you'll find a little storage cubby and then two 12 volt power outlets auxiliary input usb charging port dual cup holders and then you can maybe use this little cubby as a cell phone holder and then you can use this for coins or change. Down here you have your driving modes, which you do have a sports mode, and that's it. And then you have your downhill descent control. So our console storage is okay. We do have a removable tray right here. And the center console is nice and soft touch and stitched. The seating comfort is pretty good in the Tucson. The seats are really nice and plush, and they provide a decent amount of side bolstering. My support isn't too shabby either. Visibility out of the Tucson is okay out of the front windows and the windshield, but when you get to rearward visibility, it is a little bit of a pain seeing back there. Huge blind spot and the C pillar um, is pretty big too. And then the rear quarter window back there is really small, but at least a rear view camera does come as standard equipment. You also do have your AC controls here, fan speeds, different zones, temperatures, easy as that. Very simple and logical layout. Front window defroster, rear window defroster, and your recycling mode. Up here, manually dimming rear view mirror, sunglass container, map lights. Coming to the main head unit and the interface here, this is your more basic head unit here. You can go for a much larger infotainment system. Now it is an AM FM radio and then you also do have your CD player up here. And I love how it is touch screen and the responsiveness is pretty good. All your other media sources do include Bluetooth streaming audio, your USB port with iPod integration, and your auxiliary input. And you can hook up your Bluetooth phone on the system, have all of your contacts stored on there and all that good stuff. Then you have XM radio as well. Coming right here. This is your gauges and your instrument cluster. Pretty traditional looking tachometer on the left, coolant temperature, and then speedometer on the right with your fuel gauge too. Coming in the center shows you all of your vehicle information such as your fuel range, average fuel economy, your trip information, it's controlled by the button on the stairwell. Also shows you what radio station is playing, shows your tire pressure, monitoring system, service intervals, door and lights, you could change many different settings. And you can reset the settings. It also gives you your exterior temperature rate out and your mileage. And you have your traction control off button right here. Now as far as the way the Tucson drives, the Tucson offers a okay balance between decent ride comfort and decent handling. Now this certainly isn't the sportiest crossover out there to drive, but it is predictable predictable you could feel for where this vehicle is trying to go my biggest complaint is this seven speed dual clutch transmission it does feel quite jerky at times and it does hesitate to shift as well i rather much prefer hyundai's traditional six speed automatic over this one here but it does provide pretty good fuel efficiency here and the power isn't too bad either i would certainly get the turbo four cylinder over the two liter though but the ride comfort in the Tucson is okay. Certainly not the most comfortable ride quality. But if you're looking for 
a compact crossover that's fairly easy to drive and offers a little driver engagement and the Tucson might fit the bill here. But remember that this isn't the sportiest crossover out there. I would certainly check out the Ford Escape or the Mazda CX-5 if you're looking at that. And it's, nor is it the most comfortable riding one either. All right, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out the cargo space as well as the rear seat passenger space. You have an okay amount of cargo space. The Honda CRV and the Subaru Force are certainly a lot better. But these rear seats do fold down 60 40 split, of course. But my biggest complaint is that there's no lever back here to fold down the rear seats like how there is in the CRV. It's a really easy mechanism, rather much prefer that. Then you have your floor mats, then a spare tire, and your cargo covers right here, too. Now to fold down the rear seats, just go like that. Still a pretty easy mechanism, but I actually think it's more convenient if the lever is located in the cargo area. Now, these second row seats, they do recline and you do have rear adjustable headrests as well. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Um, it's soft touch on the armrest, but hard touch on the mid door panel and upper door panel. Yeah, rear air vents back here, dual map pockets. And you also have your map lights as well. The seats themselves do lack in thigh support, but they're fairly plush. And there's a decent amount of leg room and headroom is okay too. All right. So with its reasonably powerful and fuel efficient turbo four cylinder, its stylish looks, its comfortable interior, and loads of features and technology available, the 2017 Hyundai Tucson is an exceptional choice for a compact crossover. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.